Hey guys, um, instead of having a DIY, I'm going to um, do a DIY script tutorial. Basically, editing bricks. So, like, um, like if you wanted to make it transparent or can collide, like a walking door, if you, like click a button, or if you touch a touch some touch a brick or something. Um. So yeah. So just an intro while I make my Cheerios. Um, my friend Big Dog Three Five Four Cody. He's the one who um asked me to do the um DIY for the scripting. Um. So yeah. Nom 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 Cheerios. So expect in a few seconds to be to a scripting okay guys um i am here in editing mode um roblox studio and um like in the previous uh, part or um what i just said i'm going to be doing a scripting real quick scripting tutorial easy scripting tutorial on just how to make simple things such as uh, a door that opens in a certain every certain amount of time um, if you, a break that you, if you step on it something happens just basically easy stuff so just to get this out of the way I'm gonna name each of these tests with a test number in it. one's gonna have a while true do script um, while true do which means when the game starts basically um the second one is going to be um function on click so when you click it and the the well true do um name this part should name it to something that's different from whatever else is in the um model and what you want to do is insert a model anywhere in the workspace Preferably, I put it in the model with what it's changing because it's easier to look at, find. And what you basically want to do is put in first. You want to make say while true do. And then you want to make a little cheat sheet on how to get to the item that you're changing. So I'm I do a equals game dot workspace dot. Now what you have to do is what your um model name is. Um, so test one and then part, which is the item that you want to change. It's basically telling you to look inside the game, look inside the workspace, look inside the model, and then look at what the part is made of. So a dot transparency equals one. Let's wait, wait one second. Always got to do it exactly like that. A transparency equals zero. Wait one end. So that's basically changing it to see through, not see through. Okay, so whenever you edit a script, um, you want to cop cut and paste it back into the model or whatever, wherever. So it like um just gets it ready because when you exit out of the script it doesn't ha it doesn't have anything ready it doesn't mem it hasn't memorized what you made so just hit just when so this is when I start the game and as you can see changing transparency and uh, proof one zero one zero okay the next one is gonna be a um, click script and I'm real quick just going to make a conveyor belt. And then what I'm gonna have change is I'm gonna have it change transparency one so you can see through it. And then I'm gonna have it change its can collide, which means you can walk through it. If can collide if you can if can collide is on, that means you cannot pass through it. If it's off, that means you can. So let's just change the velocity to what I need. I already know what it needs to be. And then if you're ever making a conveyor belt, you always want to make the top surface um, like that. And real quick, you just want to um, 
anchor the door so that it doesn't move. Oops, switch this real quick. Um, okay. Now let's get a script part. And then, since I, I already have a pre-made model which has function on touch, or function on click. Uh, there it is. So whenever I need a click script, I just go to this. And then here it is. Function on clicked. Because I don't always remember it what it is. Or um I remember function on clicked, I just don't remember script dot parent dot click detector. So I made a model for it. Good thing to do. Okay, what you next want to do is put it model inside your test. The the click. This is very important. You don't have to, but it's recommended. Now this is an example where you have to change one of these part names, and I'm going to change the one that's going to be changing to change. Now, basically, we're basically doing the same exact thing as we did the last time. A equals game dot workspace dot test two dot change. Um, A dot transparency equals one a dot can capital C both C's can collide equals false so basically basically what this part of the script is doing it's changing it so you can see through it and you can walk through it and then we're gonna wait three and then we're gonna change it back to what it was a transparency equals zero a can collide equals true end just end the script off okay gotta cut the script out so it recognizes what you've uh, the changes you made and click it first let's put in a brick real quick so we know it works okay now if it, this works it should change the transparency and this brick should go right through bam waiting three seconds then it goes like that again every time you click it every time okay now that we finish that let's do a function on touch script which I'm going to cut to real quick just because you cannot um, test it in this in um, edit mode since there's no people so let's real quick just skip to that didn't see and can collide So actually, let's change its can collide and its um, transparency. But um, uh, when you're scripting, you're not always gonna get everything right, just like me. So let's see if it works now. Okay, for some reason not working, but I'm just gonna make put in a model that I already made. It's a um, trap. Uh, let's see if I can find it in my models. There it is. Uh, go over here. Guy pointing to this. Don't click or touch it. I put a click and touch script in it. So let's just look at the touch script real quick. Uh, where where is it? No, that's not it. Here it is, right here, the last one. This is function on click script. Okay, here we go. And basically, what it's doing is just changing the can collide nothing else um, I don't think it's very different to what I had let's just see if we can change just the transparency game workspace touch to open door part we got that part right okay game. okay I'm just gonna show you that it does work um, touch it and then bam because I touched it changed the can collide and then, just so you can't get out, I put a one-way door, and I made the, um, what's it called? The oh. friction to z z zero point something. Zero point zero one, which basically means if you go onto it, it pushes you back. 
So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this scripting tutorial. Um, I'm sorry I didn't get the function on touch script correct. Um, let me actually try real quick if that humanoid. No. Okay. Just wanted to see if that humanoid was messing it up. But um, sorry I didn't get it right. Um, if anybody wants me to try it again and make another scripting tutorial with just a function on touch, I will do it. And I will see you guys later. I hope this helped your scripting a bit. Um, helped you start scripting. So yeah, see you guys later.